Hi Taurus, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be your weekly guidance message for January 8th through the 14th. This is a general message and will not resonate with every Taurus. This is not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Taurus propensities in your chart. There may be messages here for you. If not, check other sign propensities in your chart. Any information you need is in the description box. And if you have not done so already, please do subscribe. We'd greatly appreciate it. And we're going to jump right into your reading, Taurus. Also going to pull an animal in, animal oracle card for you, as well as a work your light oracle at the end, just to further give you some more guidance for the week, okay? We have three cards out. I'm going to keep shuffling. Get three more for Taurus, please. What do we have for Taurus? Looking good so far. Three more cards for Taurus, please. come out. Okay, two more cards for Taurus. One more card for Taurus, please. I'm gonna go over the cards with you in a bit. Just want to get all the energy out. Okay, nice. Nice, interesting, very interesting. Okay, bottom of the deck, Taurus. Oops, hmm, very interesting. Okay, originally the bottom of the deck is the Capricorn card of the Devil Major Arcana. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn or have Capricorn in your chart, but um, the Dev card speaks to attachments, you know, whether attachments to physical people, physical things, substances, attachments, okay? If it's to um, things, it's an addiction. If it's to people, it could also be an addiction. It could be an obsession, okay? Bonds that we feel like we cannot be broken. Ties, all right? But then this card fell, and then this card was underneath, okay? So it could be dealing with the Gemini. It could have Gemini in your chart, but some of you could also be having to, needing to make a choice pertaining to a situ certain situation. Or some of you are dealing with a situation that was once toxic, but definitely has the potential or is now able to come into a more balanced, more high vibration connection. Definitely some sort of connection going on for you, Taurus, okay? Might have been a toxic connection in the past, but maybe this now has a potential to transform, okay? So, definitely take that into, I'm gonna leave these two out actually, because I think they play a role in what's going on here. First card out, um, crowning energy, you have that at the Queen of Wands, could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but the Queen of Wands is an energy of a person who's very confident, very attractive, um, you know, very, very a catch, let's just say, okay? This person's a catch. So whether you're dealing with someone that you feel is a catch or someone is looking at you as if you're a catch, you know, someone worth having on their team, someone worth having in their family, someone worth having as a friend, um, definitely someone very confident. That they're looking at you very confident, very attractive, very magnetic, okay? Key, magnetic. You could be presuming this energy. Someone could be looking at you this way. You could be looking at somebody this way this week, Taurus. Next card out, you have Major Arcana, the Magician card. So definitely could be someone that's manifesting you. If someone's looking at you in this type of energy of being confident, of being magnetic, someone is drawn to you and they want you, whether career, definitely think it might be a relationship though. After these two popped out, right? Maybe a situation that was toxic in the past someone you have a bond with, someone that might be a little bit obs obsessed with you, or you might have been obsessed with, or it was a, a codependent or, or some type of, you know, low vibration in the past, but definitely might have the potential to come into a high vibration, okay? So someone is manifesting you or you're manifesting someone, someone that you look at very confident, someone that you look at magnetic. And it's actually like this. Shh. She's looking directly at the magician. Okay, so definitely someone is looking at you, wanting you to be a part of their reality, okay? Next card out, we have another major arcana, the moon card. Some of you could be dealing with the Pisces. I actually did Pisces right before this, so 
Maybe there's something in that video for you. Feel free to check that out. Okay, maybe I'll tag it in the cards above. But the moon card speaks to an energy of, of fear most times for me. Fear and illusion. So whatever the situation is, you're not seeing the whole of it. Okay, there's still some aspects to the situation that you're not aware of. And maybe it's the fact that this person is trying to manifest you in. Or maybe there's some fear around this situation. It could be, as I said, something that was toxic in the past because we do have the devil card here or someone that feels very, very attracted to you. We have the devil and the magician. And you're the queen of wands. You're coming up as the queen of wands. Or you're looking at somebody this way. Someone is very, very... Someone has to have you. And they're not showing it. You don't. You can't see this yet. Or they're they're afraid. I don't know what they'd be afraid of. Maybe they're they're concealing this. They're not showing you, and that's what's that's what's making it. They secretly have this sort of obsession with you, right? They're secretly manifesting you, but you don't see that. They're keeping their feelings hidden, or they're afraid of how strong this is. Because I mean, the magician and the devil with the lovers, and I even I didn't even get to the rest of the cards yet. Lots of major arcana. One, two, three four five major arcana and these are extra out of six cards following card out we have the three of cups sitting directly under the queen of wands the three of cups is an energy of celebration and reunion this could be someone you have not seen in a while someone that you may have cut it with because it was toxic in the past because then we have the three of cups then followed by the king of swords definitely could be someone that you cut this connection with because of the toxicity or the imbalance or the attachment but someone wants to reunite someone wants to reunite it could be you because it is sitting under the queen of wands or someone is wanting to reunite with this queen of wands so if someone's looking at you as a queen of wands someone wants to reunite someone wants to come back together Okay, and they're very clear about this. They're they're crystal clear about this. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius here could be dealing with sitting directly underneath the magician card. Someone is very clear that you are what they want, or you are very clear that this person is what you want. Very clear. No, no, if ands, buts, or maybe. Okay, they've thought about it. They're very clear. You are what they want. You are what they see. The King of Swords. There's no doubt with this guy no doubt and under the magician card there's no doubt okay last card out major arcana ace of cups sitting on the moon card so this could be what you're not seeing you're not seeing that this person is planning to offer you something okay this person is planning to come back and reunite with you and offer you something a new beginning a potential for 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 a new a new a new love because this is something emotional this is something that speaks to your heart chakra something that makes you overflow with joy you make them overflow with joy this person does maybe that's what's going to balance this toxic energy and bring it into a divine connection maybe this has always been a divine connection because of the intensity though it made it somewhat toxic imbalanced this is also an energy of um, overindulgence, right? But definitely potential here. If this is a situation that is from the past, definitely lots of potential here. Someone sees a lot of potential with you. They're very clear. They know what they want. You, They may not be saying this to you right now. You may not be seeing it because she's actually looking directly at the moon card it's like she's not seeing this is how it how it sits on my board okay she's looking at him manifesting but then there's the moon card here so it's like she's not seeing the fact that he's trying to manifest this ace of cups because the ace of cups is sitting underneath the moon card so you're not seeing that there's an offer coming sorry i ruined it for you <laughs> But someone is very clear. Someone is very clear. They know what they know what this is. They might have not known what this was before. That's what maybe also added to the toxic element, right? They just had this intensity. 
If they're perceiving you as the Queen of Wands, there's definitely intensity. But they are aware now. If there was fear before, they're cutting through that. This King of Swords, this fear doesn't stand a chance. This King of Swords, this devil energy doesn't stand a chance too, because as you see, there's they're bonded together by the by the chains, right? He's got the sword to cut through the illusion. This could also be fear. Definitely could be fear. This person was maybe fe afraid of how intense this connection was with you. Or you were afraid. The both of you were afraid. Because we have yin and yang, light and dark, masculine, feminine. Very, very strong soul connection here. Okay? But someone's very clear on you. They know what this is now. They know what this is. Very clear on what this is. And they're manifesting you back. They want you back. They want you back. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull you an animal oracle card for Taurus. Okay, perfect. Two cards. Wasp of spirit. Sometimes life stings. Oh, does it ever? What number is this? 64. Wasp spirit. Sometimes life stings. Definitely someone that... Things weren't that great within the past, for sure, but the connection is, in, is insane. Right? But this is, an, and this is also speaking to having to forgive sometimes, right? Sometimes life stings. We all go through things. This person could have been going through something when you met them. The timing could have been off. You know, they've been through things that maybe that's what perpetuated them into this fear state. And that they allowed the fear to overwhelm them. But they're not anymore. They're cutting through that with this King of Swords. They're cutting through that. Any type of illusion, any type of fear, any type of self-doubt that you or them, whichever side it's on, is being cut. And someone is moving forward, wanting to reunite, and they want to offer this love and balance this energy out and make it be of love and light. Okay, you also got Turkey Spirit. Give with gratitude and grace. Yep. Someone wants to put in the time and the dedication necessary that needs to, to, to transform the situation. As I said earlier, could have been dealing with the Scorpio. I did see the death card, which is a card of transformation. Someone wants to transform the situation. Transform. From this to this. Let's get you a work your light oracle. What do we have for Taurus? One card for Taurus, please. But lots of potential here. Lots of potential here. But someone is very adamant. King of Swords with a Magician card. Someone, someone ain't playing no games. One card for Taurus, please. Two cards. Let's see how many there are. Priestess, how are you being called to step up and lead? Definitely, this person, can, this person could be divinely guided. This could all be something that was guided, definitely, with, with the devil and the, the um, lover's energy. Definitely some type of divinely guided situation. How are we being called to step up and take the lead? This person is being nudged. They've, you know, they've had guidance and support from the ethers throughout this. Share your voice. Come out of the cave. Prosecution, expression. Definitely a conversation coming. Definitely a conversation coming. And the initiation. Rite of passage. Crossing the threshold. Yep, they're coming out of this fear. Whoever this is, if this is you. Whoever had the fear... Those are allowing the fear to paralyze and make this connection low vibe. They're coming out of that. Cutting through that illusion. Moving forward with clarity. Okay. Those are the messages I have for you, Taurus. Hopefully they resonate. If they do, thumbs up the video for me. And until next time.